Hey guys and welcome back to Nuked on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will be showing you how to set up the custom created RSS feeds for different websites. So I will have three example websites here and I will go into detail on how to use the visual selector to select the links from the site and how to instruct the plugin from where to extract the links and from where to instruct the content that we wish to include in, in the RSS feeds. So let us jump straight into this we have already the custom created rss feeds plugin installed and we are in the web crawl to feeds menu so first of all let's use the textadvisor.com website so go ahead and copy its url and paste it here in the scraper start seed url adjust the number of items you wish to appear in the feed here so for sake of uh, simplicity, I include only two items in my feed, but you can increase this value. Now click settings and you wish to go down until you see the do not scrape start URL checkbox. So this checkbox means that the plugin will not create a feed item also from this page from where you started scraping but it will only extract URLs from this page. So for example, if you start scraping from a blog post, for example, from this post, and you scrape links from here, then you might not want to check this checkbox because you want to extract also this content and also the links here. So if you start scraping and crawling from a post page, then I, assume that you don't want this checkbox but if you start scraping from a page which is the main page of the blog which does not contain any info that you wish to scrape only crawl its links so only extract its links then you need to check this checkbox so in this case because i am using this main blog page where it uh, has listed multiple post links I will check this checkbox because I want to extract only the links and I don't want to make a feed item from this page. So I want to skip this feed page. Now let's go to the seed page crawling query type. In this case the plugin offers multiple values. The most easy and simplest way is to use the visual selector. But keep in mind that the visual selector might not work all the time so in some cases you might have to use class or regex to get the correct extractor for pages so in this case as you can see there will be listed the text clinic links and other links are not listed on this page so because of this if you want to extract the text clinics uh, part simply highlight with red with your mouse the part which you wish to extract this can be the entire content which has the links or a single link if we click a single link we will see that we will get this long uh, string which in this case is not working correctly because it will extract only the single link and not the all link structure so because of this i need to highlight the entire structure in this case and click it so we see a shorter and a simple class now which needs to be extracted and this is okay so in this case we can go scroll down and uh, click on the content query type this defines the content of the feed items so this tells the plugin hey extract the content of the feed items from that location from the scraped post in this case we can also use visual selector and if we selected things correctly in the previous settings fields a post will open up for us in here so this will not list anymore the main page of the site that we entered but it will list a post as shown here if we entered correct settings in the previous settings so now all we have to do is move our mouse until we see that the entire content that we wish to extract is highlighted and click it. So you will see that once again something is uh, uh, not functional because uh, the ID was extracted. The ID is something unique per post 
and this visual selector might not always be accurate for extracting these IDs and classes. So in this case, go to the post and in Chrome, you will have to inspect the content. And here you can simply move your mouse over this part. You will also be able to open up stuff here and uh, hover your mouse until you see the content that you wish to extract highlighted. So you open up here divs and more opening up until you see the ID that the plugin selected. So this was the ID that the plugin selected and here are the many many paragraphs of the article. So in this case let's simply copy this class so in this case you will have to need to copy this class and enter here class so how do you select this class simply hover your mouse over these uh, fields here and see which encapsulates the article the entire article that you wish to scrape so in this case if we scroll to the bottom you will see that this is the div that we wish to get so i recommend that you get the classes because the ideas in this case especially might change from one article to another so get the classes copy classes and simply paste it here in the content query string and if you copied classes from here then set the content query type to class if you would have copied the id you would have had to set this to id but in this case it's class and now let's save and run importing we will see that the plugin will now scrape the content and get the posts from it and if we refresh the page we will see the full article scraped here with two so the full article scraped in this created RSS feed with full post content added to the content part of the RSS items. Okay, so now let's move on to the next uh, blog I want to show you. So this is another blog which was able to be scraped and created an RSS feed for the plugin using the plugin. So simply do the same, paste the scraper start URL the block and hit uh, settings. Check also the do not uh, scrape start URL because we don't want to extract actual content from this uh, page. We only want to extract the links from this page and we can go ahead and use visual selector. So loading this page might take a bit longer and it loaded. So now simply highlight a single item from this uh, blog post listing. So as you can see, I highlighted with my mouse the entire listing item here and click it. So the class is main repost. If we click another visual selector, we will see that the plugin will successfully load up the uh, post but keep in mind in this case the plugin loaded up the same page but let me explain why this is this also uh, baffled me the first time but let me show you so the plugin selects this post and it would have displayed this post for the first time it would have loaded so now let us click on this post and you will see that after clicking on this post we landed on the same page. So this is happening also in the plugin. When the plugin goes to this post, it is redirected automatically back to the main page and it uh, displays the main page to us without actually... Um, that, so it thinks that it is doing good, but it is actually working correctly because the first post from this blog is redirecting back to the main page which is incorrect so if we click once again on the first post of this blog we will see that we will get back to the main page so this first post is not working on this site so yeah because of this we will need to click on the second post which actually works and here once again we hit inspect element 
and once again we will see all this stuff and we will try to highlight the entire content that we wish to scrape and copy the class which is shown and now simply go and paste the class in the content query string and select class save settings run importing and we will get a new rss feed for this site with two items in it so if we refresh the page now we will see the resulting feed id with two items in it okay now um this is the second now let's go to the fourth this is a blog which i selected and let's do the same for it this will be much easier to be configured now because we know that we don't want to extract content from this main page so check this checkbox visual selector and in this case we can simply hover over a post title from this main page listing and the plugin will select the correct uh, xpath selector for it and now let's use visual selector once again and here a single post was opened as you will see here and all we have to do is highlight the entire content with red click it and save settings run importing and the rss feed will be created for us with the blog post content from coding horror so importing takes a bit longer now but it will soon be ready and the plugin will present the rss feed to us and uh, we will be able to use it okay so until this finishes let me show you something that uh, how the plugin will so it's finished so let's refresh now and check the resulting rss feed here it is with the two items and now let me show you what i wanted before to tell you how the plugin will behave if it, it is not configured correctly so let's use the visual selector and select here on the main page something unrelated which does not necessarily has uh, links so i clicked this for example and now in the content query string visual selector this message appeared so fail to crawl page for links please check the seed page query query string settings field in importing rule settings seed page will be displayed now okay so this means that the plugin is not configured correctly over here and it is not able to uh, get links from the main page which should be scraped for content so if you get this message you need to get back and re check the seed page query query type you entered here and be sure to enter something that returns also links to the plugin so in this case the visual selector will be able to work once again and extract full content for posts okay so this is all for this video i hope i managed to explain how the plugin works and uh, cover only it, this functionality so it covers the do not scrape seed page use uh, start url seed page query query type seed page query query string content query type and content query string these are the fundamentals of this plugin and using these settings will you will be able to create your rss feeds and uh, use them afterwards i hope you enjoyed this video until next time subscribe to this channel to get more similar videos and uh, have a nice day bye bye